Everybody, welcome back, Green Country Baits. Get a cup of coffee or your favorite drink this morning. We've got a special pattern for you. We are wiggle wart painting, and we've got a new shed pattern that we're gonna be laying down. It's nothing else like it out there. So come join me, spray and paint. All right, we're gonna try to bring back this old shed uh, color that, uh, I've been reluctant to put on here and, and uh, show how to paint, um, but anyway, we're going to show it today. So what we've got down so far is a white base coat. Now this particular shad pattern is equally good in clear or off-colored water. Uh, it's got, you know, all the qualities, it uh, underwater, it it really, really resembles those bait fish colors that really come out. So, guys, I hope you like this one. Um, base coat's on. Now we're throwing down white. Pearl. And I'm going to get my stock built back up on these. We're going to be doing six warts in this particular color. I will edit out the majority of this so we don't bore you watching me show the spray the same color over and over, but um, it really is an extremely good shad pattern. And again, the thing that I really like the most out of it is how good it is in clear water and stained water. We're going to go back over it one more time to really build that metallic, pearlish paint up. Next color up is going to be our chartreuse. <clears throat> We're going to bring that down into the head, cheek area. And I want to leave, we're going to get into the cheek area a little bit, but we're going to leave this white. We're going to get, show that pearl. We'll do one more on Cam. Really don't have to do the back. We're going to be doing some additional colors there, but. All right, the next details that goes into this bait, we're gonna stand that up. Let's make sure we're in frame good. And we're gonna lay just a little tiny bit of scale color over that yellow.
And what we're doing here is just coming back, filling in over the white or the chartreuse with the scale color. And this is a pearlized color or metallic. The back color that we spray over it it's going to really pop. All right, <clears throat> we're going to need to do another heat set, and we're on to the back color and a couple, one more detail. This is a very unique color. Uh, it's grayish violet. We're going to come right down the back from the nose to the tip of the tail. Next thing we have to do is get these eyes painted. Now, we're going to be going with a red eye on this pattern. Okay, now these magworts, quite a bit bigger eye here, so... Rather than use the old handy nail that I usually do because I've still got to add the shed dot, I'm gonna I'm gonna spray the eyes. God dang, hard to hold on to this sun gun this direction. This is the uh, final touches. Getting the shed dot, kill dot, whatever you want to call it. And our shed pattern that is one of my favorite of all time is done. So you guys let me know what you think of this pattern. Um, I've had a lot of success with this pattern. I've not seen this particular pattern anywhere else. There's some stuff that's close, but I believe that that muted 
somewhat um, chartreuse uh, underlying shoulder and cheek area, along with that slightly grayish purple back hues and the pearlescent sides. When the uh, clear coat hits this, this thing's going to pop. Until next week, Green Country Customs will be signing out. If you like this video, please hit the uh, thumbs button and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other future painting videos, DIYs, or just plain uh, tutorials. Thanks very much. See you next week.